Okay, Thomas in Texas, got your new George here, FCC. Um, I'm just gonna show this really quick. Um, oh, it's on the wrong side, hang on a second. There, there it is right there. Um, the video isn't really about your radio, I'm just gonna use it as an example. So there, there are some similarities uh, between a lot of these radios. So you have this one, this is that new Quad 6 Pro that I have here. Um, what I wanted to talk about though is when you're doing the AM modulation and a lot of guys like to do it themselves or you know however you go about doing it hopefully you got a oscilloscope and a tone generator or something besides just putting the mic on a on a thing and setting a tone in I guess that works too but it's much better to have more control with an actual piece of test equipment doing it but anyhow um, when you're in this service mode of these radios, you know, they'll have a AM low power and AM high power for the carrier, and that's pretty simple, self-explanatory. You get one or the other. And then when you use your RF power, like on this radio, um, so we need to be in transmit for that, so let me plug this back in. They, um, you know, on this radio, I have it set to one watt, and then all the way up is four watts. So it's pretty simple, and anywhere in between, um, that's about 2.5 watts right there. So what I'm getting at here is With these kind of radios, there's a certain level when you're going to do the modulation adjustment So, you know, you'll have a AM mod low and what that does is kind of like would set your one watt modulation the one watt carrier and it sets the threshold for modulation and then you'd have your AM high, which would put the radio in that whatever setting right, right now would be in four watts, and we'd set it there too. And you know, and you might think you're done and everything is well and swell, and, and, and by all means it should be. But a lot of times, what happens is um, when you get out of the service mode, which we're out of it right now. So let, let me unplug this so the timeout timer doesn't kick on. So obviously this one's not going to have the negative effect because I don't adjust them like that, but. Um, let me bring this into view. So this is our AM modulation on this George FCC here. So it looks really nice. And this is with the 4 watts. So it's, what is it, peaking about 16, 17 or something, which is about right. Um, nice and rounded. It's not pinched in the middle. But what will happen is, is if you lower the RF power down, and we can see the RF power is lowering, and you can see that envelope starts to change a little bit. There's level 5. Here's 4, 3 two, one. But what we'll notice here, if I bring it into view a little bit better, is what, now I'm increasing. I'm at level one. No, this is two, three. You know, it does change, but there's no way to adjust the in-between. So that's the purpose of the video. So you need to be careful and you need to check the radio after you're done. Because if you go too far, what happens is when you adjust the RF power, you start to flatten out the middle. And in a lot of cases, it will totally flatline. So you can only control in the service mode the low and the high, but there's a fine balance between too much and not enough. And if you don't look at it closely after you're done and go through your RF power, whether your radio has a menu setting like this does or it has a dial on the outside, it doesn't really matter. Because there's no way to really factor in okay what about when i'm in the middle between on this radio the one and the four what's going to happen because you can't adjust that so you know you have to be careful and we can see here that there's no issue but if i go in and absolutely turn this down for maximum modulation without any pinching or flat topping on the low side or the high side setting what will happen is it will inevitably start to flatten out and you can almost see it there for a brief second see when i go from See when I go from one to two, it almost wants to, and then the limiter crunches it, like right there. So there's a small, like, you guys can't see the radio, there we go. So that's why I'm talking about. So it catches it though, it does catch it. But if you crank these radios up, and let me tell you that Quad 6 Pro, um, if you go in and just crank that thing, it's going to do it even more because it's a higher power radio. So. And there's a little bit more audio on that radio. But anyhow, just figured I would point that out if some don't already realize that. That it is important to check that stuff. And in a lot of cases, if you've turned them both up too much and you see that, then you're going to have to go back in and, and turn things down and, and kind of balance it out. So it's not just a matter of doing the low and the high. 
it's a matter of doing it and then checking the in between and if if you got it right it, it won't flatten out and it won't pinch so hopefully that'll help some of you guys out because if you don't check it more likely than not it's going to do that so and I, I really started noticing that with this radio but I will say that a lot of the newer radios that are coming out or have just came out are acting a lot a lot of the same way so and this is probably radios released in the last year or something the George 2 does it um, the quad 6 Pro t is doing it the one I have here so it's just something to be aware of and uh, you know if you're setting it up set it up the right way that way you don't have to mess around later so hopefully you get something out of that and uh, this one will get sent off to Thomas tomorrow and uh, that's it um, make sure you send off your rebate form Thomas you'll get that free Bluetooth mic from president because I believe that's still going till the end of this month all right seven three